the Canavan Disease Patient Insights Network. It's a fabulous program. So we started this program through the partnership of an advocacy organization, Canavan Research Illinois. Um, Canavan Research Illinois approached us October of 2016 and wanted to join our no charge advocacy platform. It allows advocacy organizations who do not have any type of patient insights network or patient registry to use the infrastructure we developed at no charge allows them to bring patients together in an online community and really collect information to help form a research-ready community and amplify the voice and the concerns that patients have. So this program is really novel because nothing had been organized like this in Canavan disease before. We currently have 118 patients with Canavan disease in the program. There's probably three to four hundred people known worldwide with Canavan. Uh, so it's really remarkable that in such a short time we could bring together such a large contingent uh, that, that had not been addressed in advocacy before. What we're trying to do is bring patients together online and allow them to form a research ready community so that we can allow patients to learn from each other, we can allow patients to share experiences in a way that protects their identity, more importantly that we can allow patients to share their de-identified data to really compel researchers, investigators, and drug developers into action. So we can allow research to happen at the on the, the Patient Insights Network, allow research to happen at the hands of patients rather than patients having to go to various study sites. Um, and, and it's really coming together in that way. Right now we're talking with a couple of investigators who have interest in extending the Patient Insights Network uh, so that patients from around the globe can engage by sharing their de-identified data uh, rather than the few who are fortunate enough to get to study sites.